Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising and we're going to dive in and find out who's thinking about you, what are their current feelings and what song reminds them of you. Okay, so without further ado my darlings, let's get into it. Okay guys, guardians, ancestors, angels and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for... Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, who is currently thinking about them and what are their feelings? Who is thinking about Scorpio and what are their current feelings for Scorpio? Who's thinking about Scorpio and what are their current feelings? You, sneaky, sneaky. Ooh, two there. Look at that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. So we have the Wheel of Fortune here. So this is change for the better, the ending of a cycle, something that is destined. Okay. Five of wands. So I see here there's uh, some competition, conflict, fighting, petty arguments. This could also be somebody that is fighting for you. Okay. And then we have the seven of wands. And this is someone um, being defensive. Maybe even being independent, saying, you know what, like, no, I'm good. I'm going to go at this on my own. So if you're dealing with somebody that there's a lot of arguments, pettiness, competition, however it resonates, it could be somebody else involved. This is actually, this is, it's better for you in the long run. Now, I know not everybody wants to hear this, but it's better for you in the long run. Okay. You're destined for better. This is like the ending of a cycle. Okay. You don't want to feel defensive anymore. You know, you want to be independent. And that's how this person is thinking. This person is thinking the same thing. They, they don't want to argue anymore. They don't want to fight anymore. They just want things to, you know, be done because they don't want to feel defensive. They just want to, you know, be able to live their life. You know, they're fine with being independent. And I, I see that they're finally going to speak up for themselves. And say, hey, look, I don't want this anymore. I think when we're destined to be with other people or we're destined for something better. Okay. Now that's for some of you. Let's see. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Who is it? All right. So we're going to my initials deck, which is available for purchase down below in the description box. All the links are there. I'm having a sales for the rest of this month. So check them out. Actually, I'm having sales on everything. My merch is on sale. Wizio is on sale. Zenwithinme.com, Etsy, and Shopify. Okay. So who is thinking about Scorpio? Who is thinking about Scorpio? Who is thinking about Scorpio? Ooh, okay. All right, so somebody's going to be getting a tweet. I'm seeing tweets. So we have T W E A P H B. So something. All right, so you guys might be having like a tweet war. I don't even know if that's still a thing. Uh, so you might be having arguments on Twitter or something. Something with Twitter. There's like somebody's tweeting something. Okay, and I'm seeing that could be where there's there might be a problem. Um. I'm also seeing beat, B-E-A-T. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing a lot of conflict here. Um, heat, somebody's heated. They want to like fight someone. Yeah, there's a lot of animosity I'm seeing here. Um, P-H-A-T, so fat, somebody, something to do with like somebody, somebody thinks somebody's fat, they think they're hot, so this, this could be a third party situation thing, maybe somebody on Twitter said, hey, you fat, and then somebody else saw it, and now it's like this big, huge thing, and you're feeling defensive, or they're feeling defensive, if this is what, you know, how you acted towards them, and now if this is something that, you know, happens often, that's why they may be like, you know what, uh, let's just end things then because I don't want to be in this energy all the time, you know, like, you know, my social media, somebody says something and then I get accused and it's like, no, th no, ma'am, no, sir, no, thank you. Okay. 
Um, yeah, hate. Hate is spelled out. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of negativity and animosity here, and that actually makes sense with these two cards here. Okay, so we have T, W, E, B, and P, H. So however those letters resonate, I'm seeing um, somebody may wear a hat. Pat is spelled out here. Oh, path. They want to change the path. Completion of a cycle. I'm seeing also bet. So somebody may have made some kind of bet. Also web. What a tangled web we weave. Jesus. Okay. All right. So P-A-T-H-B-E-W. However those letters resonate with you. So let's see what song reminds them of you. Okay. What song reminds them of you at this time? So whatever song you have that pops into your head when you see um, the artists, those are your songs. Pay attention to their names. They may um, share the names with your person, the way they look. There may be a resemblance, same hair color, eyes, smoker, beard, you know, anything like that. The numbers um, may represent the birth month and add the letters here to spell out more things or get more initials. Okay, so we have rock and roll number eight, Kurt Cobain. Love Nirvana. Okay, blue soul and R&B, Amy Winehouse number five. They're very interesting with the energy here and the songs that they created and the energy that they had that's coming out in this reading. Okay, blue soul and R&B, BB King, the letter K. Lead Belly Folk and Country number 10. Pop number four, Britney Spears. I'm hearing, oops, I did it again. Oh, okay. And Blue Soul and R&B, letter Q, Aretha Franklin. Okay, so those are your messages. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Please click the bell and select all notifications so you will be notified every time I post. I post 12 readings a week. Check out my links down below in the description box so you can get in on Zen Within Me merch. Um, check out my Wizio. I have a lot of different services there than what I offer on my zenwithinme.com website. I you could do a vision board. I can help you with spell work, uh, law of attraction work. All of that is there on my Wizio. Um, I have spells available for purchase on my zenwithinme.com site. Uh, as well as private readings. And then my products are available on zenwithinme.com, Shopify, and Etsy if you're interested in buying um, products that are hidden in plain sight and infused with magic. Bath salts, soaps, perfumes, all the goodies are there. Okay, happy holidays, guys. Stay safe, peace, and love, and I will see you in the next reading.